Hey what's going on guys, Time here and today I'm going to be showing you guys a really good drift build for the Shelby GT500 and Forza Horizon 3. So if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe for more drift builds like this one. I'm also starting to stream more over on Twitch so if you'd like to either come play or just watch some Forza uh, gameplay live be sure to follow me on Twitch as well. All of my links are down in the description. So without further ado, let's begin. So just like every other drift build I've done, if you follow exactly what I do on screen, you will end up with the exact same tune that I was using to drift in the beginning of the video. Also if you decide that you would rather just download the tune instead of building it yourself, instructions on how to find it will be at the end of this video. So to start things off, we're going to go over to the conversion section. As you can see here, I did not change anything, nor did I change anything in the arrow and appearance section. The arrow and appearance section is completely optional and it won't really affect the way the car drifts, but I just decided to leave that part of the car stock because I thought it looked better. Next, we're going to head over to the tires and rims section. The only thing I changed here were the rims and the rear tire width to 315s. The reason I left the tire stock is to reduce grip to make the car slide a hell of a lot easier. Here are the rims that I chose as well if you're interested in fitting those to your car. Again, the rims are optional, but I would definitely keep the tire compound on stock. I would definitely upgrade the rear tire width. Next, we're going to move on to the drivetrain, and everything here is a race part. After that, we'll move on to platform and handling. For this section, I added race brakes, race springs, and left everything else stock. I know that for most drift builds, the majority of people add front and rear anti-roll bars, and they also reduce some of the weight, but I found that this car actually does a little bit better without it. Of course, you can experiment with these things and add them if you want, but this is just my personal preference. Lastly, we'll move on to the engine. So I put in a race intake, race fuel system, race ignition, race exhaust, sport cams, race valves, a stock engine block, race pistons, a stock turbo, and the last three parts are race parts. So now let's move on to the most interesting part, the tune. So the tire pressure for both the rear and front tires is going to be set at 24.5 PSI. Now the gearing of this car is interesting. I essentially made it to where you rarely ever have to shift out of second gear unless you're going around a huge turn. If you plan on using this car for smaller, tighter corners, you can adjust the gearing to fit that situation, but just know that this is the gearing that I used to drift in the beginning of this video, which were pretty tight corners. So that's going to do it for this tune, the rest is pretty much self-explanatory as long as you follow what I did on screen. Like I said before, you're usually going to want to stay in second gear for most turns, but you'll figure out what you're comfortable with when you start drifting with it. Like I said earlier, here is the tune that you can download if you'd rather just download it instead of building it. All you guys have to do is search up my gamertag on the marketplace and the tune for this car should come up. My gamertag is on screen, it is embracing time but embracing has two eyes. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Like I said earlier, all of my social media links, including my Twitter, Twitch, Snapchat, and Instagram are down in the description, so if you want to check those out, feel free to do so. So anyways guys, thank you for watching, and have a great day.